the natural resources that are present on the earth around us include air, water, soil, minerals, plants, animals and fuels. The term conservation leads to the practice of caring these natural resources so that all living things can benefit from them now and in the future. All the things that are necessary for our survival like food, air, water, shelter comes from natural resources. Natural resources are categorized into two groups. They are Renewable resources Non-renewable resources Renewable resource Renewable or infinite energy resources are the sources of power that can quickly replenish by themselves and can be used again and again. Example plants, animals, water, solar energy, wind power, water power, tidal streams, thermal power, geothermal. Non-renewable resources A non-renewable resource or finite energy resource or the resources that does not renew itself and once they are used up. They are never used again, that is they are forever gone up. The supply of this renewable resources comes from the earth itself and it generally takes some millions of years to develop. Examples Fossil fuels, coal, crude oil or petroleum, natural gas, nuclear fuels. People often affect the natural resources by hunting the animals, clearing and burning the forests, exposing land to the wind, damaging the water, exhausting the fertile soil, depletion of fuel supplies, polluting the water and air. In many regions of the world, usage of water is restricted. For example, in Australia, in response to chronic shortage due to drought, restrictions of water are imposed on activities such as watering lawns by using sprinkler systems, washing vehicles, using hose pipes to clean paved areas, refilling swimming pools. From the past two centuries, the population of human beings has grown extremely. The use of natural resources are increasing day by day. Because of billions of people are eating food, building houses, producing goods, burning fuel for the purpose of transportation and electricity. As our life depends upon these natural resources, we must use them carefully. But some situations may occur where there exists a conflict between the conservation of natural resources and other needs. For example, for some people a forest area may be a good place to put a farm. Some others want to build a timber company to harvest the area's trees for construction materials. Few others may want to build a factory or shopping mall on the land. All these materials are important for us, but sometimes the plants and animals that live in that particular area are forgotten. The advantages of development need to be weighed against the harm to the animals that are forced to find new habitants, the depletion of resources we may need in the future or damage to the resources we use today. Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs is termed as sustainable development. Sustainable development encourages the idea that the social, environmental and economic progress are all manageable within the limits of our Earth's natural resources.